Welcome to Edge Kids. As a family, we get to know Christ, be the church, and serve our community with a message of hope, truth, and love. We're so excited that you're here with us today. I spy with my little eye something new to discover in the Bible today. Welcome to week number three of I Spy with the Word, where we are talking all about really, really cool things in the Bible. Do you remember so far we've talked about the sword? Last week we talked about how we can whoop, plant a little seed of the Bible in our hearts and God can grow it. Remember, we plant it and God grows it. And we're going to learn a few more things today. So I want us to stand up on our feet. Amazing. And we're going to get into the song. I know you remember some of the actions. We've got the sword. We've got the seed that you planted. It will grow. We've got the hammer up high and down low. We've got the mirror. We've got the lamp. And we've got the food that we eat. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Amazing. Get ready for it. Let's go. about the Word of God being like a hammer, we have got a couple of fun facts about it. Now, if you ever used a hammer, it's a bit dangerous. Maybe you've helped dad or mom using a hammer before. But today when we're talking about the hammer being like the Bible, we're saying it can break down things or it can build up things. So it can break down lies. Now, sometimes we can believe lies about ourselves. Maybe something like this one that says, oh, I'm different from everyone and that's a bad thing. Or maybe lies like, I'm not a good friend, I'm a bad friend. Or maybe lies like, I'm not very special or nobody loves me anymore. Maybe things like that. And is that truth? Mm -mm. So it's lies. And in the Bible, in Jeremiah 23, it says, My word, which the word is the Bible, is like a hammer and it smashes rock into pieces. It's like it smashes down all of those things. It goes, you know what? You need to believe that you are a really good friend, not a bad friend. You don't need to believe all of these things that are smashing everywhere. You don't need to believe those things. But we need to remember the good things from God. And that's fact number two, that God also uses his Bible to build up the truth. Now, this looks like a mess here because we broke everything down that's not the truth. But we can use a hammer of the Bible being like, do you know what? Do you know what God says? He doesn't say I'm not brave. He knocked that one out of the way. He says, do you know what? You can be brave. Can you show me your hammering? You can pretend that you're doing some hammering while I'm reminding us that, you know what? God loves you so much. That's what the Bible says. Do you know what? The Bible tells you that you are so, so special. We get to build up the truth. God helps us to love people, be a good friend. That's what it is. In Acts 20 in the Bible, it tells us that the word, which is God's grace, it can build you up just like this. So I want us to remember that God loves us. He made us. He thinks you're so special. And we learn all of these things from reading the Bible and remembering that the hammer can help remove the things that aren't the truth, but it can also help us build up all of the good things. You ready? Pretend you've got a hammer. Knock away the bad things. Very good. Now oh, build up the good things. Very good. We're going to hear more about the Bible right now. Hi, I'm Pastor Dave. And I'm going to be reading some scripture today, which will help 
build up truth in our lives. One of the truths that we need to understand is that God will always love us. God is always with us and God has amazing plans for us. The first uh, portion of scripture that I would like to read comes from Romans chapter 8, 38 through 39, where it emphasizes the importance. God will always love you. Yes, I am sure that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Not death, not life, not angels, not ruling spirits. Nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, nothing above us, nothing below us, or anything else in the whole world will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Number two, God is always with you. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, remember that I commanded you to be strong and brave, so don't be afraid. The Lord your God will be with you everywhere you go. Number three, God has amazing plans for you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Isn't the truth of the word of God amazing? One of the kids team are going to come and share a little more about God's truth. Hi everyone, I'm Lav and I'm from our Melbourne campus. I love that we get to talk about how the word is like a hammer because that is so personal for me. God gave us the word as a tool that we can all use. Just like a hammer, the word of God is so powerful. Sometimes when I'm not having a great day, something's happened or I'm not feeling that great, I'll, I like to take some space and just remember the powerful tool that I have access to. I'll feel like I have no power, but when I lift up the word of God, I get to be built up by its truth and, I, and the lies get taken down. Just like a hammer, we get the choice to pick it up. It's just as powerful when it's just sitting there and no one's touching it, just like the word of God. But we get to make the choice to use its strength, to pick up its power and use it in our life. I love thinking about um, the function of a hammer because it's never changed. We've been using hammers for thousands of years and we're still using it for the same thing today. Just like the word of God never changes and the way that it builds us up, the way that it builds up truth and breaks down lies has never changed. A hammer is used to unify two things, like a nail and a piece of wood. It brings them together. And I can think of so many times in my own life where the word of God has unified me, has brought me together with friends and family, whether that's just us sharing what we're reading and how the word of God is speaking to us, or whether that's us getting together and reading the Bible verses together. We're always unified and we're always brought together by it. Each and every one of us get to ask God every day to help us be a little bit more like Jesus. And as a carpenter, he knows how important it is to have a great tool like a hammer or like the word of God on your side. I just want to encourage you that the word of God is so powerful. Um, and I pray that it would um, impact your life just as much as it has, as it has mine. Ah, you're back again. Amazing. I was just using the Bible like a hammer, just like you can this week. Remember, we've learned. It's a hammer, it breaks down lies, it builds up truth, remember? It breaks down all of the things that aren't true and it builds up truth, just like that. We've done some research today, we've read the Bible, we've read from Jeremiah, we've read from Acts and we've learnt so many things about the Bible. So now it's our turn, you get to try it. Everyone say nice and loud, it's my turn. You can do it louder than that. Say, oh, it's my turn. Very good. Now it's your turn this week to try and remember what's true and what's lies. 
I want you to remember, do you know what? You are so loved by God. When you read the Bible, it tells you that God loves you. It tells you you can be brave. It tells you Jesus loves you. So this week, I want you to try and remember, I can use the Bible like a hammer to help remind me, God loves me so, so much. Do you think you can do that? Thumbs up. Yeah, you think both? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you all think you can do that. That's amazing. Go for it. See ya. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's amazing that we can gather together, grow together, and go together. We love you so much, and we can't wait to see you again next week.